morning everyone it's nice early in the morning 6 a.m. on a Wednesday um, we are actually headed into Yellowstone National Park for the second day I'm not sure if we're gonna divide our videos into two days or just in all into one but either that this is either the beginning of the second video or midway through the first one. So Beautiful day out. It's going to be 81, 82 degrees and sunny, so we're excited. Um, we're here still right outside of Island Park, uh, Idaho, and uh, we're just getting ready to head out. All right, we made it to our trailhead. So, um, real quick, as some of you who have been to Yellowstone know, this park is absolutely huge. So, our drive, uh, once we got to the park, was still like another hour um, to get to the trailhead. So, we are doing North Rim Trail to a bunch of the falls. So uh, we are just starting. I forgot to download the map to my watch, so I'm not exactly sure uh, what the total mileage is, but we'll see. It's, uh, it's somewhere probably around seven or eight miles, I'm guessing. So let me turn you around and show you this uh, little uh, first bridge crossing. Alright, we are headed on to the North Rim Trail. We'll check back in here soon. So this is another one of our adventures where I didn't tell Michelle where we were going. So I, she's been talking for a while about wanting to go to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. So that's where we're at. And uh, we're going to hike also um, about midway through the trail on the North Rim here. There is a hike down to the bottom of the waterfalls which I guess is only like 0.7 miles, but I guess it's close to 700 feet of elevation. So it's, it's quite a challenge coming back up, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna try it. Well, I guess we're gonna do it because we're not just gonna try, thanks. So today's August 10th, and the current temperature right now is 42 degrees. And I typically overdress, but today, for whatever reason, I didn't. So I'm a little chilly. Um, I've got a long sleeve shirt on, a t-shirt and a tank top and then I have on my hiking pants I should have grabbed a flannel on the way out but I didn't but when I'm in the Sun I'm fine so chilly start but it is what what time is it uh, like 7 30 yeah it's only like 7 30 in the morning so it's to be expected so we made it to the uh, first scenic overlook we are at the upper falls here on the North Rim Trail. And uh, there's actually quite a nice viewing location down here. Um, we're heading down the stairs now. That's not the upper falls. A little bit further down here is, that's just the priming of it. water. Let's go over here and see if we can get a little bit better of an angle of it. Sure is a beautiful day here in Yellowstone. So it's happened so many times on our travels we were actually in the parking lot of the north falls area um, cutting across on our on our trail and there was a 
nice camper van road trek with a um, Ohio license plate so a struck with conversation turns out he grew up on the west side of Cleveland just like me um, they've been he and his wife have been full-time since 2016 so and then he was here with his family his kids and grandkids and everything and uh, they live over on the east side so small small world so we just made it to Crystal Falls let me turn around and show you that waterfall really good really really pretty So on all trails, the North Rim Trail actually doesn't include hiking down to the lower brink of, well, the brink of the lower falls, but everybody has said to do it. So we've reached that point and we're starting to hike down and then we'll have the climb back up. So the uh, hike down to the lower brink um, is, I, I guess you could call it paved. It's looks like at some point it was asphalt, but it's real pretty rough now. Um, but it's all a bunch of switchbacks, so uh, Looks like we're about halfway We made it down to the bottom of the switchbacks and we are actually at the top of the lower falls um, I thought we were actually hiking down to the bottom of the falls, but it turns out we hiked down to the top of it Let me turn you around and show you what we see We're hoping as we uh, hike a little bit further on the North Rim that we'll be able to see the whole falls a little bit better. I'm sure there's some more scenic overlooks um, as we hike out a little bit further to uh, the rest of the North Rim. Just came, just came over to the other side of the lookout and no wonder they call it the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Absolutely gorgeous. We have begun our ascent, so uh, we'll see how this goes. So we made it up to the top of the switchbacks. It really wasn't too bad, you know, because it's paved and there's switchbacks. It's, you know, it's 600 feet of elevation, but it really doesn't feel like that as long as you just keep chugging along. So I'm just sitting here on the curb waiting for Michelle. She's in using the restroom. So uh, we are going to continue on to the North Rim. got a little bit better view of the uh, lower falls I don't know if you guys can see I'll point it out here in a second but if you take the southern uh, rim trail you can actually hike down Michelle said that she thinks there's like 300 stairs that hike down for an overlook so that'd be a pretty cool spot to check out the falls as well as we're hiking along the trail we found another sweet overlook for the waterfall What do you think, Michelle? It's amazing. All right, here we it. are at Lookout Point. Head over this way and see what we'll uh, be able to view from this point. There's a lot of uh, overlooks here along the uh, along the trail, so that's really nice. I don't know if this one's. I don't think it's really a hike down. Oh no, it's a hike up. One thing we haven't noticed is when we were hiking down towards the lower falls, there were a lot of sections of the overlooks that were actually closed off, I'm guessing because people were jumping over the railing and, uh, you know, going out in areas they're not supposed to. So they've just closed sections of the overlook. Bastards. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's actually a rainbow now. Yeah, this is definitely the best view of the uh, lower falls. So as you can see, the closed section there, um, we think that it actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the lower falls and there's a boardwalk that you can walk out on. Um, but unfortunately it's closed because, uh, who knows, but I'm guessing because people were getting off trail and destroying the rest of it. Um, or there was a landslide or something, but I'll blame it on other people who are irresponsible. Pull-offs if you aren't able to hike um, that you can just drive along this road and stop and see all these beautiful overlooks. Anybody need a pillow? There's a pillow there. Maybe we'll grab that on the way back. All 
right, we're heading off to uh, Inspiration Point. So I'm not sure, I don't think we got a whole lot further, maybe half mile, three quarters of the mile from uh, the Grand Overlook. Um, and once we get there, we're gonna stop and eat some snacks, you know. Snack, snack time, my favorite time. <laughs> snack lady brought some snacks. So uh, got some pepperoni and some salt and vinegar pork rinds. Pretzels and an apple and granola bar. What about cheese? Uh, that, I left that in the cooler. No cheese. We made it to Inspiration Point. Looks like we might be the only one out here on this overlook right now. There's some people in the parking lot, but... cool is this? Can't beat this for a place to stop and have a snack. Here comes Michelle. I'm always hiking ahead of her it seems. Plus, you know, she doesn't really like to be on the camera anyway, so works out alright for both of us. Pretty sweet overlook to say the least. You get to see the whole river. That's one of the things Michelle and I were talking about is that, you know, we love the Grand Canyon. We've been there, well, I've been there four times now. Um, but this is almost a little bit better just because you're closer to the bottom and you can really appreciate the uh, river flowing through um, versus the Grand Canyon where you're so far up half the time you can't even see the river. So uh, yeah, pretty amazing. All right, so as you saw, we made it to Inspiration Point. Uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, if you guys, if you're looking to uh, just do a car trip around, this is definitely the way to go. I mean, you can stop at all the scenic overlooks um, and park and walk, you know, less than 100 feet in most cases and, and be able to see everything we saw today. But yeah, the hike is really nice. So we are about 4.5. Four miles, so it's going to be 8.4. Well, we're not going to walk down to the bottom of the lower falls again, so um, it'll probably be right around eight miles when we get back. And uh, we're going to stop, take a break, get some snacks in us, and uh, just relax. We're actually going to go find a place to sit in the shade since it's pretty sunny out here. Um, and uh, I'll probably put the GoPro away. And uh, if I've got anything on the way back, since it's an out and back, I'll just uh, pull out my phone. So we made it back. Yeah, well, we did. North Rim Trail, double thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a real nice trail, just right at around eight miles. Um, I haven't uh, looked yet to see how many feet of elevation. Somewhere probably about seven or 800. Um, again, most of that is probably there at the climb down to the lower fall. So definitely recommend this one. Uh, you know, we hiked the North Rim Trail at Grand Canyon, and uh, I like this one better. Oh, me too. Yeah. yeah. It reminded me a lot of that one, but this one's way better. Yep, really enjoyed it. Please so hit thumbs like, up, subscribe and the notification bell so you see when we post new videos. Typically once a week at least, sometimes two, Wednesdays and Fridays.